Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of SG Car Culture powered by Gears Multimedia where art and speed meets the street. Hey everyone, this is DJ Fazid welcoming you to another episode of SG Car Culture powered by Gears Multimedia where art and speed street. Hey Fazid, every week you say art and speed meets the street, art and speed meets the street. I see a lot of speed no, in different episodes, horsepower here, horsepower there, but where's the art lah? Hey, I've been showing so much art, static colours here, I've been showing different kind of colours on different cars, I bring so many beautiful cars, you never uh, see yeah, art, you man. say like that only, you say art here, art there, you say static colour, but I want true art, you no. Know. I want to see the, the visuals, it, it should really captivate me. You want it to captivate, you go to the museum lah, still want to come here, ask for art here, art there, you know how much expensive or not? But never mind, I think today's episode will be the one for you. Okay lah, you sure ah? Today's the episode ah? If I don't... If I don't see art, how? You will see one, trust me, today we'll have one. Okay lah, you sound a bit confident only, but let's see how this episode goes. Okay, okay can. Come, I follow you. Okay, come. As y'all saw earlier, the inner soul of myself, Fazit wanted to see a piece of art today. So that's the reason why instead of something that goes very fast, I wanted to bring in something that's attractive. Look it. So that's the reason why in today's show, we have the Lancer, Mitsubishi Lancer EX, I really don't know what to say about this car because it's commonly driven in Singapore. You turn here, got Lancer, you turn there, got Lancer, everywhere else got Lancer. So nothing much to talk about the car, but once you see the car, you will fall in love with it. So today's episode is going to be a bit different because it's more of a Q&A session. So uh, like I said, uh, let's welcome Kitty Pop Pop on the show. Uh, thank you for being on the show. When the owner <laughs> told me earlier, <laughs> this has been happening from just now. We've just been cracking our asses out, laughing and laughing, but seriously. <laughs> Let me do the intro nicely <laughs> and get it over, done and over with. Okay, so uh, like I said, uh, the owner told me that's a female representative today that's going to uh, talk about the car. I was pretty excited because you are the first female on the show. Like I said, welcome. And uh, how do you feel about being here today? Um, I feel very excited. And yep, uh, very thankful for the opportunity to be interviewed for this car. Yeah. So actually, I'm representing uh, my friend. <laughs> to talk about this car today. <laughs> okay, so I believe you also, uh, you also, eh? Mm. You also drive a Lancer? Yes, correct. What made you choose a Lancer? Because I, okay, since young, right, I always liked the looks of an Evo. And because, you know, in Singapore, um, everything is very expensive, right? Especially the cars. So the Evo is quite expensive. That's why I decided to get a Lancer. Yeah. Yes. And really Lancer is more affordable uh, compared to Evo. Mm. And you know, uh, the whole thing about uh, having female drivers on the road has a particular stereotype in Singapore. Like, you know, if you cannot cut corner or that kind of thing, this kind of thing, you look at the driver's seat, it's a female passenger, they'll be like, Alama, this girl, la, Alama, mm. that girl. La. So, that is one thing that I'm going to ask you about. Another thing is when you drive a sports car, what are the kind of reactions you get on the road? Mm. Do you bully people or people bully you? The it depends. <laughs> the way you're looking, I already know you do a lot of bullying on the road. <laughs> Happens lah. Okay, so I think with that, let's go and check out the car right now. Mm. You wanna laugh at the camera first? <laughs> So before we talk about uh, the car itself, whether the interior or exterior, I just want to know a bit more about you. So you go by the name of Kitty Pompey Pop. Yes. A very interesting name, uh, but uh, you have a real name, don't you? What's yes. your real name? My, na my real name is Ferenis. Ferenis? Yes. It's a very nice name. Why don't you like you know, shout out that name instead of Kitty Pompey Pop? Because actually I prefer to keep my life quite private. Lah. That's ah. why I came out with this name. And what was the inspiration behind the whole? Since young, I always liked Hello Kitty. Okay. That's why the name Kitty. And okay. then the Pompey Pom is because of my dog. I uh -huh. used to own, I uh, have a Pomeranian. Okay. Mm, so Pomeranian, so P O M. Uh, That's why. So everything fell in place with the name, right? Yes, correct. Actually, the, the, the first time I heard that Kitty Pompey Pom, I was like, 
or a very catchy name. So I think that's the reason why uh, a lot of people in the streets know uh, you, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. And I've been using this name for many years. And then recently when I got the car, then the name start to like be more well-known among the people in the car community. So I just stick this name. Yeah, I think yes. you should. You should. I think <laughs> very, very catchy name. Okay, after knowing uh, much more about you, I think it's about time that we talk about a bit of things inside the car, which is literally a bit. Do you want to tell me about it? So actually, the owner did not do much to it. He prefers to keep it stock. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that he did was to install the g ready speedometer and the interior lighting for the leg. That's about it, right? Mm, yes, correct. I think the the you will know a person love lenses so much uh, when he keeps it as stock as possible. No, I think because he spent too much on the wrap. That's why. <laughs> that's why the in interior never Truth much. Touch. I tried yes. to be so professional, trying to make it sound no nice, and she just spit the truth. Like yes. that is the, probably the reason. So mm. sorry, bro. Okay, so with that, I think uh, the main part of this episode, the exterior, the whole wrapping, the sticker. All right, Kitty, pom pom, uh, pompy pom, right? Kitty yes. Pompey Pom, we have been learning a lot of things about yourself mm. and the car as well. So next up now that we are outside at the front of the car, <laughs> tell me a bit about what's <laughs> happening at the front. Okay, so for the front, right, there's a carbon fiber bonnet and uh, installed the LED headlight and also the front grille and the fog light is yellow color. So, so what's up with this uh, whole uh, yellow color fog light? Um, so all lenses. No, actually, most of a lot of JDM cars they like to put this uh, yellow color. And is there a specific reason why it's, mm, it's part it's of the JDM culture, thing? The JDM yes. thing, yes. Okay, nice. And with that, uh, uh, beautiful fun. I think the pink lights complement the whole sticker wrapping beautifully. And with that, I think we should go to the side of the car and talk about the wheels and the rims. Should we do that? Yeah, sure. Let go. All right, Kitty, so I think following the review of this uh, beautiful piece of car, uh, something that we should take note is the body kit in particular because there's something going on that you want to explain about that. So actually, this car is using the FQ400 body kit. Um, it's actually inspired by the EVO 10. So by putting on this FQ400 body kit, hopefully you'll look like an EVO. Hopefully you'll look like an EVO. <laughs> yes. So it's up to you viewers to put in the comments if it looks like an EVO 10. If not, he is taking out the body kit. <laughs> okay, so following that, um, I think... Um, <clears throat> Personally, if uh, when you do something to a car, it's like putting on shoes for, for yourself. It's like uh, when you put it on the entire tyre, if your shoes are not matching, then it will spoil the whole look. So, the tyres are matchy-matchy. Do you want to explain about the tyres? So, um, the tyres is not stock. This rim is actually 17 inch. So, it will look a little bit more sportier. And it's using the Racing Sport RS01 rims. And also, um, the owner has actually done the tyre bomb, which is the white colour sticker that you see here, to make it look Hatsune more attractive Miku. and stand out. Alright Kitty, we are at the final part of the whole review, the back of the car. What's going on here? So actually, the car is installed with a Votex GT wing. So the, for lenses, right, I think the most important is actually the wing, because it looks really nice after installing the wing. So it's actually part of the lenser package. The whole package. And then, uh, following also uh, it comes with a HKS legal exhaust legal legal exhaust yes. please take note guys it's completely legal and I think why I'm emphasizing this is because there's a particular sticker that if you all play play eh, pay close attention to that says serial number FMGRT 4592 approved by LTA please leave Miku alone how often do you see people shouting out at LTA like that to leave their exhaust alone? Because I think the sound that it makes makes you think that it's probably illegal, right? Yeah, and usually LTA, right, they like to stop the lenses because they thought we have a lot of illegal mods on the car. And he gets stopped by the LTA quite a number of times. So he got a little bit frustrated and he decided to paste this sticker. So you drive a Lancer also, right? Yes. And do you get stopped by LTA? No, I have never been stopped by the LTA before. Okay, touch it, touch it. <laughs> okay, so with that, the most anticipated part of any episode in SG Car Culture is the sound check vroom vroom. Shall we go ahead and do that right now? Yeah, sure. Can I get a sound check vroom vroom? Alright, 
That was pretty loud. Okay. All right, Miku. Ah, Miku, pula. <laughs> All right, Kitty, uh, with that, I would like to thank you for being on this episode today. Thank you so much. Uh, tell me, how do you feel after doing the entire review on today's episode? Uh, thanks for the opportunity for this interview today. Um, just want to say that uh, I think in Singapore, right, the carb community is very small. So we shouldn't um, like get salty or jealous about other people's car. So support and appreci appreciate all groups and let's not get jealous of other people. And wow. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram because we always um, post a lot of pictures and videos of our cars. And do you want to tell that uh, Instagram ID quickly? So his Instagram is my little Miku and my Instagram is Kitty Pom Pom. And if you want to see um, more of my car pictures, Dark Knight. And Dark Knight, <laughs> alright. That was such a strong message that goes out to everyone. Don't unnecessarily catch out jealous, huh? okay? Thank you, uh, thank you Kitty. <laughs> I don't know why Miku is coming back and forth. Thank you Kitty, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. I enjoyed myself today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and with that strong message, ladies and gentlemen, the episode has come to an end. Thank you so much for tuning in. The usual as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. This is DJ Fuzzy saying adios to my amigos. This is SG Car Culture Powered by Gears Multimedia, where art and speed meets the street. Adios to my amigos.